Hi. Welcome everyone into my channel Everything PS. In this tutorial, I am gonna show you how to remove the green screen and how to export the video animation to use it directly in the next time without repeating these steps again in Adobe Premiere Pro with a few simple steps, stay tuned. Now, after opening the program and importing your media, drag your video and drop it on the timeline. Then, go to the effects panel if you didn't find it go to the window menu and choose effects, or you can press shift plus 7 on the keyboard. Now, search for the effect named color key, then, drag and drop it directly on your video. And go to the effect controls panel, but if you didn't find it go to the window menu and choose effect controls or press shift plus 5 on the keyboard. Go here to color key and from key color pick the color picker and go to this screen and click on it to pick the green color, directly it will remove the green color, easy just like that. Then go to color tolerance and change its value as you like to remove all green color. For me the suitable value is 180. Now let's see the result. This is the result very well. Let's do it again. If you don't like to see it again skip this part and go to see how to export the video animation. Now go to effects drag the color key effect and drop it on your video, then go to effect controls panel go down to color key and change the value of the color tolerance for me, I will make it 180. And here there are extra options here you can try to play with value to get a good result. You can change the value of edge thin and the value of edge feather as you like, but for me, it is better to keep them on zeros. Now, let's move to export the video. Go to your video here on the timeline and 2 to the beginning of the video and hit I on the keyboard, then go to the end of the video and hot O on the keyboard. Then go to file export and choose media or press ctrl plus M on the keyboard. Then for format make it on QuickTime. And here on preset choose the preset that's suitable for you for me, I will keep it on Adobe Stock HD with audio, Apple Pro is 422HQ. But if you are working on a video with another resolution like 4K for example, you can choose it from here. And from here enter your video output name and choose the location you want to save the video on. Then hit save. Now make sure to check both export video and export audio. Then go here to video video codec and choose animation. And from basic video setting you and change the dimensions of the video both width and height, frame rate etc. And for best quality make sure to check to render at maximum depth. Then make the depth on 8bpc plus alpha.to export your video without background. Now, check use maximum render quality this will make the render take more time it depends on your device. Finally hit export. Now, let's see the result. Go and import your video after exporting it. and put it on the timeline. Play the video. Very well, we are done. I hope you enjoyed it. If the video was helpful for you to hit on the like button and subscribe. Don't forget to turn the bell button on so you don't miss the next videos. And if you have time to learn more, look at the old videos on the channel. See you in a new video soon. Goodbye.